Hey everybody, this is Diana from Femme Photographic Club. How is everyone doing? It's post Thanksgiving. That means uh, we got to step it up, bring it, bring it. Um, so I wanted to let everyone know that in the month of December, my personal trainer put together an awesome, awesome, awesome squat ab challenge. Um, it's 31 days to get us through to um, New Year's so that we can fit into that nice, cute little black dress. So I hope everyone participates. Um, I'll put the information below on how you can join that event on Facebook, on our Facebook page, um, because I will be posting in there just about daily, keeping us motivated, making sure we're all staying accountable, and making sure that we reach our goals. It doesn't work if you don't reach a goal. So the way this challenge is going to start is called 31 Days to New Year's December Challenge 2013. Um, I also posted details about it on my blog, femfatalfitclub.com, and um, we're going to rock and roll, but this is how it's going to work real quick. So at the beginning of December, December 1st, which is tomorrow, um, take, a me take measurements of your waist um, waistline to see how many inches you are. That is, make sure the tape measure crosses your navel. Also, take a measurement of your hips and butt um, to see how many inches you start with. And before you head out to your New Year's festivities on December 31st, what well, either that morning or what have you, take your measurements again and do a comparison. And all we care about not are, aren't the actual measurements. We want to know how many inches you were able to reduce by staying consistent with this challenge. Now, consistency is key. So what we want you to do is, you know, follow the schedule. My personal trainer, um, she's certified, put this together, and it's it it's it's awesome. It's gonna rock. So it's for intermediate and advanced people. So if you've already been exercising and, and all of that, you should be able to follow the reps as is. If you're a beginner, then cut the reps in half. So if the rep says do 50 squats, you as a beginner do 25 until you increase your stamina and improve your power and improve your, your strength. Um, we don't want you going out there and trying to go hard and you can't do it. You just, you have to build into it. So that's what we want you to do. Um, some things to keep in mind as you participate in this challenge. Number one, consult your physician before starting any exercise or diet program. Um, you, you just need to, just to make sure that you're good and that you physically can, can handle it. Number two, try to manage your sugar intake. I know it's holiday season. We got parties. We got cakes. People bringing in treats. I know, I know, I know. But if you want to be successful and you want to, you know, fit into that little black dress, that's what you got to do, okay? Manage that sugar. That is soft. Sugar is soft drinks. Adding sugar to your coffee and tea. Even artificial sweeteners. Nix it. Um, you know, you really want to, you know, if you're going to have sugar, get it from natural places like fruit, banana after a cardio workout or pineapple that you put in your smoothie or something, but still don't overload on that. Okay. Cause it's still sugar. So manage your sugar intake, increase or drink at least half of your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 150 pounds, then you want to drink at least 75 ounces of water a day. Yes. Water will flush you out. It'll get rid of the toxins and all of that. So you really want to, you know, make sure that your body is working with the best, okay? So drink water. If in doubt, drink water. Plain water, or if you need a little taste, put a little lemon in it or a little slice of orange in it. Um, or make a little water infusion with mint, strawberry, cucumbers. Um, I know there's been some things around the internet on fat flushes with water and stuff, stuff like that. But if you need to flavor it up, you know, mint leaves does well, cucumber, all that kind of thing. But don't add sugar of any kind, not honey, not, no, don't do that. Just add some herbs if you need it to flavor up, okay? So that those are some things that will keep you successful. Also, incorporate a cardio uh, routine in here. Um, we are building, this, this challenge is here to build your core and build your glutes, your hamstrings, um, and your quads. But, you know, the fat burns with the, cat, with, the, with the cardio. So make sure you get some cardio in. It doesn't necessarily have to be running, but you can get on the step mill. That, that is a major cardio workout. You can jump rope. 
That's awesome. I love jump rope, actually. Love it a lot. Um, you can run. Yes. You can um, do an aerobics class. Do a step aerobics class. That's great cardio as well. Get some cardio in because that'll help burn the fat and reveal the muscle that lies, with, that lies within. Because we all have muscle. It's the fat covering it that you know won't let us show it. So I'm going to leave all the information about the challenge below. I hope you guys join us. You don't have to be in our town. We're not doing this in a class together. We're doing this virtually. So that means wherever you are, if you have, if you have some goals and some needs, join us. We would love to have you. Um, make sure you sign in and RSVP on our Facebook page so we know who we're, who's participating. Again, I'm going to be posting videos, not necessarily of me, but videos of how to execute the exercises properly. Um, so that you at least know what is a bicycle. Well, I'm going to have a video for that. What are, you know, uh, leg lifts? I'm going to have a video for that. Um, again, may not necessarily be me. I like to scour YouTube too and get videos and incorporate them. So please join us. Um, I think you won't regret it. Let's get ahead of the new, the new year's resolution, um, beginners, um, and starters. And let's, you know, let's get a head start on January 1. I know you can do it. I hope you join me. Thanks for watching. Bye.